COVID-19 is the narcissist's karma. It is their misfortune or bad luck resulting from their actions. It's cause and effect. What you put out is what you get back. Our actions influence our future. And if you look at the narcissist's actions, you can see why they are now having to deal with this. Of course, I know that it's not just narcissists who are going through this. Everyone has been affected by it in some way. But I believe that narcissists are getting the worst of it. There are certain jobs that narcissists tend to gravitate towards which are being affected more than most. We are in a time where everything the narcissist needs to survive is now very difficult for them to obtain. Attention, admiration, money, power, sex. In many places, they can't even go outside anymore. And this is why we are seeing a surge in domestic violence since the start of the lockdown. In the UK, domestic abuse killings have more than doubled since the lockdown restrictions were imposed. These narcissists can't get supply and it's making them really mad. Even for a normal person, it's no fun being stuck at home all day. But for a narcissist, it's far worse. They cannot survive without constant attention and admiration. They will become very irritable and they will attack whoever is around them. If there's no one around them, they will become depressed and even suicidal. But before that happens, they're going to be all over social media, showing some skin, taking pictures in their masks, doing whatever it takes to get the attention and admiration that they crave and need. Because they can't live without it. They can't use this time to go within and learn more about themselves. They can't use this time to practice mindfulness or meditation. They hate doing anything that involves being alone. Because they hate themselves and when they're alone they're forced to reflect on their shame all of the things they've done and it's too painful for them to deal with it makes them feel like a bad person and that is why they constantly need to be around people they constantly need to post pictures on social media because it makes them feel as though they are worth something when deep down, they feel completely worthless. But they don't want to acknowledge it. So they do whatever it takes to distract themselves from the truth and reality of the situation. But I can guarantee they are struggling. They are having difficulty getting supply. They are having difficulty getting attention and admiration. And many of them have lost their jobs. They're struggling to pay off their car or their mortgage. They can't afford to have food delivered. 
So they stock it up on pasta, rice or noodles. Narcissists have a need to feel powerful. They have to feel as though they are in control of their environment. And during this time, they have probably never felt more out of control in their entire lives. They are fearful and insecure. And that is why they need to be in control at all times. A person who is not fearful or insecure has no desire or motivation to control anyone or anything. But narcissists are very afraid. They're always on edge. They have little confidence and they are uncertain about their own abilities. And that is why they have such a desperate need for control. But during this time, they have almost no control over their lives, no control over their futures. They're in a crisis. They're going through a time of intense difficulty or danger. And that is why you may see them popping up again. You may see them making that quarantine Hoover attempt. Because the only time they will want to come back is when things aren't going well for them. So this is when you're likely to see those late night messages on your phones. Asking you if you're okay. Asking you if you need some company. But it's all fake. They don't really care about you. Everything they do, it's all about them. It's all about getting their needs met, using you for their own advantage. They have no interest in supporting you through this difficult time. So don't give in to those Hoover attempts. This COVID-19 is their karma. Leave them to deal with it on their own. This isn't our karma. It's not something that we have to deal with. And that is why, while all of this is going on, you will find that your life continues to improve. You find yourself going within more, practicing mindfulness and meditation, eating better foods, getting more exercise. Maybe you've been looking into starting your own on online business. These are all things that the narcissist will not be doing during this time. They're not going to self-reflect. It's too painful for them and they think there's nothing wrong with them anyway. They're not going to be eating healthily. They're going to be emotional eating. Using junk food in an attempt to regulate their emotions. They're not going to be exercising. Because they only did that to gain admiration from other people. They never did that for, the, for themselves. And if no one can see it while they're sitting at home, they're not going to waste their time. They're not going to have the time 
energy or focus to start their own online business from their homes. Because during this time, all they can think about is getting supply. They need constant attention and admiration. They need power and control. They need money and sex. And these are all of the things that they are struggling to obtain during this time. Before this COVID-19, many of them had no problems obtaining any of that. But it wasn't through being fair or honest. They had to trick and deceive to get what they wanted. They had to lie and cheat. And it's wrong to do that. You can't just go around exploiting people and expect to get away with it. Because it will always come back to you in some shape or form. And this is what these narcissists are dealing with now. That's why they're struggling. This is their karma. And I'm not going to say that they deserve it. I'm not going to say that anyone deserves to lose their job. I'm not going to say that anyone deserves to suffer or die. But it is what it is. We all know what is right and wrong. We all know how to behave. It's just that some of us choose to cut corners. And when they cut corners, they end up just going around in circles. In the moment, they think that they're getting something out of it. They think that by taking advantage of someone, it's going to get them somewhere. It's going to improve their lives in some way. But it always comes back to haunt them. Their past situations or decisions always come back to cause problems for them in their present or future. And that is their karma. That is the law of cause and effect. Their misfortune or bad luck is the result of their own actions. They are the cause of their own problems. They brought it on themselves. Just don't let them back in. Because they will only bring their problems into your life. That's all these people have to offer is problems. Misery and destruction. Remember, misery loves company. These people are comforted by the knowledge that other people are, are also unhappy. So they will try to get back into your life to make you miserable just like they are. And that is why you cannot let them back in. They might not have COVID-19, but they do have another sickness which is far worse. Another sickness that will harm you. And that is their narcissism. Just know that this is their karma. They are going through it. They are struggling to obtain the things that they need. And following this pandemic, their lives may never be the same. They're not going to use this isolation to improve their lives. Narcissists are outwardly focused. And right now, there's nothing to focus on but fear, pain and misery. So you can be sure that's what they're going to be attracting into their lives. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos.
If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at noxfavorcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.